hello my lovely people today i'm going to do shrimp handling and some tarsh broccoletti broccolini broccoletti broccolini broccoletti <laughs> it's up to you and how you want to go about it so today i'm going to teach you the simple simple grilled pan grilled smoky tasty spicy shrimp kebab with some broccoletti yeah I'm a buff for crowd, but <laughs> yeah, with some brickality. And we're going to do this very, very, very rapido. So, yeah, let's bump in and let's see what we're going to be doing today. So, obviously, I'm going to need some oil, my shrimp, my spice. So, for my spices, aside my oil, I had the calabash nutmeg which is blended with some nutmeg i had the ginger powder with some cloves powder the black pepper with some inkis inkiti and easy seeds and some salt and my broccolini or broccolet now for shrimp this is how it comes when it's fresh if you want to unskin uh, your shrimp or coat it this is what you do you could decide to just cut off the head and the tail and you just use your scissors to make cut the middle part then you just pull them through take off the you know the head as well and that's one way to go about it if not you could just dress it like this and also use it but then over here we wanted to take it off totally but then you could always work on it like this so this is how to unskin or de-skin your shrimp when it comes to this, this the skin of the, the shrimp this is how to get rid of it and this is what we use for your assorted fried rice this is what we're going to use in our shrimp kebab over here you could equally use your knife get one with a pointed tip and use it to cut the middle part once you cut through the middle part you'll be able to easily take off the shell then you take off the head as well. So it's very simple to work on shrimp. Now, if you want to spice up your shrimp, you always need a bit of your salt, your water, and you're virtually good to go. But for your extra points, you always need to add in your pepper sauce in there. So your pepper, onion, ginger, garlic, you need them in there. And use it to steam your shrimps. It doesn't take long to to steam your shrimps or get it to be well cooked it's about five minutes work to do yes yeah, so today i'm not going to work in on steamed shrimps i'm going to work on that later with you guys and this is the scale the part the shell part we're going to use today yes yeah, so i actually shot this video together with the curly rice recipes yes but then i'm going to focus on the shrimp for now you start by marinating the shrimp with all your local spices yes it's very necessary that's what's going to give it a taste then you add in your refined salt then you just mix everything let every part of the shrimp get a bit of it then you put it aside so there's a beauty of the dish now when it comes to your shrimp like i was saying make sure that every part is getting it make sure that um yeah it's picking up all the taste because this one we're not going to pre-steam we're not going to pre-cook it so it needs to make sure that it's well marinated so i start off by basing my grill pan with some oil once i've based it up i'm going to start off with my broccolini now if you're new to this don't be scared so this is usually like um uh, broccoli but then the only thing is that this one has more flowers than the broccoli and then that one this one too has the longer stem parts and it's mostly like a hybrid the regular broccoli and then the chinese one so yes when it comes to broccolini this is how it looks so as that is on fire i'm just going to arrange my shrimps on my sticks this kebab so i need to put it on my stick and you realize the spices are still on it it's going to taste super 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 guy 
So for the broccolini, you need to make sure that it roasts properly. I said air channel, that's when air day. Yes, so when it's well roasted, that's when you get the flavor, you get the taste. And when you taste it, sweetheart, if it's your first time, you ask, hey, nasi abazi. But you end up eating like all of it and ask them for more. Yeah, that's how the broccolini is. So if you've not used broccolini before, that's like the guy's way to go about it. <laughs> yes, it was it was so nice. I actually enjoyed that experience. And for those who tried this with me, they're all like, wow, that's nice. So yeah, try your broccolini. I'm going to arrange my kebab, my shrimp kebab in my grill pan as well. And I'll be doing well to be turning it on both sides from time to time. You see the color is changing. As it's cooking, the color keeps changing. And that's the beauty about the shrimp. So you realize that it may, by the time it's well cooked, the color would have totally changed. And you can always test to see whether it's cooked or not by taking one or using your toothpick to just um, check the middle parts, so the middle ones to see whether it's well done, the inside. So you want to make sure that both sides get well cooked. Don't heat your pan too much, it will, it will look brown. But then it will not be well cooked. So I always say give a moderate heat and make sure that you keep rotating it so that each part has the same fair amount of heat in there. So as that has been done, our broccolini is virtually done. You see, as you come flatter, you realize that the leaves are a bit browner, it's a bit softer, and you realize that it's a shrunk in size. That's how simple the broccolini works. It's so easy to do. All you need to do is pan grill it with a little bit of salt. And the taste, oh my god, oh my god, it's just super, super, super. You can start with some lemon. Yeah, you know, you can always sprinkle a bit of the lemon on the kebab as you eat it. And you can just laugh it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just an eating foodie. <laughs> so. Till I see the next food video, do you live life to the fullest, do be merry, be joyous, and yay, let me see in the next food video. Lots of love for my team and I. Mwah.